This video covers the resolution for XAMPS MySQL error, MySQL shut down unexpectedly. Generally, when we start MySQL service from XAMPS control panel, it utilizes default port number 3306. But sometimes it may happen that, some process already uses the MySQL default port. In such case, MySQL service fails to start, and XAMPS throws an error stating, MySQL has shut down unexpectedly. One way to resolve this is to close the process which is utilizing MySQL's default port. To know which process is utilizing the port, click on the Netstat button in the XAMPP control panel. This will display the information about the port numbers currently in use, along with the process IDs, and process names using them. Make a note of the process ID which is utilizing the MySQL service default port number. Then, open Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar. Then click on the Details tab. This will display the details of processes that are currently running on our system. Search for the process ID that we had taken note of previously. Once you find it, click on it, and then click on this End Task button. This will close that process and will release the port used by it. Now close the taskbar, and try running the MySQL service from XAMPP control panel. This time it should be able to start the MySQL service successfully. But using this method may result in some problems. First of all, we should be sure that ending a process is safe, and will not hinder the normal functionality of the system. It may happen that the process we closed, was some important process, and closing it could result in the crashing of some application, service, or system itself. Alternatively, we can change the default port number used by MySQL service. To do so, click on this config button next to MySQL. Click on my.ini. This will open my.ini file. Now press Ctrl plus F to open the Find tool. Type 3306 here and then click on the Find Next button. This port number we will modify. We can give any other port number which is free to use. We will modify 3306 to 3307. Then search for 3306 again. Here also we will change it to 3307. Then we will click Find Next. This line is a comment so no need to change anything here. This is also a comment. This too is a comment. Now, there is no more instance of 3306 left. So, Close the Find tool. We have changed the line, port equal to, 3306, to port equal to, 3307. And we made changes in two places in this file. Make sure to save the changes made to the file. Now close this file. Try starting MySQL service again from the XAMPP control panel. This time it should start with the newly assigned port number, 3307. It may happen that, even if the default port number, 3306, is free to be used by MySQL service, the service starts and then stops immediately. The MySQL service fails to stay running. This may be caused because of issues in the database or corrupted MySQL data files. We can fix this issue by replacing the corrupted data files, in the path, MySQL slash data in the XAMPP folder, with proper files. To begin this process, go to the drive where you have installed XAMPP. Generally, it's the system drive, which is the C drive for me. Then go inside the XAMPP folder. Then into MySQL folder. Here you will see these folders. Create a new folder, with any name you wish. I am creating by the name dir underscore backup. This is just to keep a copy of these two folders, namely, backup and data. In case things go wrong, we can revert back easily. Now copy both these, backup and data folders. Get inside dir underscore backup folder. Press Ctrl plus V, to paste both the copied folders here. Now go back. 
Get inside this backup folder. Select all contents by pressing Ctrl plus A and copy them. Come back again. Enter this data folder. Now press Ctrl plus V to paste all the contents that you just copied. When this kind of window appears, click on replace the files in the destination. Now go back. Get inside the newly created folder, dir underscore backup. Then, get inside this data folder. Copy this, IB data one file. Go back to my SQL folder. Then enter this data folder. Here, paste the IB data one file that we just copied. When asked, click on replace the file in the destination. The process is completed. Now try starting the MySQL service from the XAMPP control panel. This time, MySQL service should be able to start and keep running. These were a few methods that we could follow to resolve MySQL shutdown unexpectedly error in XAMPP. If you liked the information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time and patience. Have a nice day.